now here i'm going to discuss the second question from the surface area of the combination of solids and uh, again I, I i just want to remind you again i want to just tell you that before solving uh, the problems of surface areas of combination of solids you must learn all the formula related to the cube cuboid sphere uh, cylinder hemisphere you know these all things i mean you need to learn curve surface area you need to learn the total surface area those all things you first remember you need to learn the formula the mensuration formula and then you can you can solve this problem easily once you understand the concept all right so let's read this question first the question is saying the decorative blocks shown in the figure right made with two solids yes we can see that uh, a cube and a hemisphere yes a uh, cube is in the bottom and this is just a uh, 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 a hemisphere is just put over that all right and the base of the block is cube we know that with is 5 centimeter okay so a is 5 centimeter it means our length is 5 centimeter similarly our breadth is 5 centimeter and our height is also 5 centimeter of this cube and the hemisphere fixed on the top has a diameter of 4.2 centimeter okay so we are given diameter right so this is 4.2 diameter so the complete is 4.2 so just half will be half of this that's 1.2 centimeter so the radius of this is 1.2 centimeter all right fine so find the total surface area of the block take pi as a 22 by 7 so we need to find out the total surface area of this so to find the total surface area of this what we have to do uh, first we need to understand that this is made with the two objects and the first object is hemisphere and hemisphere is something like this uh, let's say this is hemisphere I mean initially it was you know a, a sphere it was initially a sphere all right and when you half this sphere you'll get a hemisphere and while chopping you'll get a circle here right and uh, whenever you're going to put this whenever you'll put this uh, this hemisphere then this surface will will take the bottom region I mean will take this bottom region so this bottom has been attached here you know this is here uh, I mean I'll, I'll do it this 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 sir uh, this uh, white color is here exactly you know this portion a circle it has taken all right whose area we know easily the area of the circle that's pi r square and the upper portion area is 2 pi square this is now because uh, the complete uh, surface area of a a, a a sphere is 4 pi r square and half of that will be definitely 2 pi r square and while chopping you know you'll get the curation of uh, this circle that's why it's pi r square and now we're just going to put that into the into the uh, this uh, cube all right so uh, how we kept this it's like this you know uh, let me draw a cube let's say this is my cube not so good but imagine it's a cube okay 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 let's say this is a cube all right and here we are going to in this circle let's say we're going to put that uh, this this hemisphere all right like this okay so we need to now find out the total surface area of this combination of the two objects so first we'll be finding out the total surface area of this uh, this this uh, this cuboid you know total surface area of the cuboid we can easily find out because we know the length we know the breadth we know the height all are 555 five, five, l into b into h generally we represent by the side a you know whenever we represent cube all the length breadth and height all are same so a that's 6a square and then uh, the upper portion the surface uh, the curve surface area of this this uh, what is that uh, hemisphere right so we'll be adding the hemispheres curve surface area that's 2 pi r square and this is actually blocking the this 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 uh, circle is being blocked once you put this hemisphere you know this you, you, this upper portion is only visible I mean I mean this 2 pi r square is visible and this pi r square is missing so we will be subtracting the circle from here one circle we need to subtract because above this circle you're putting the hemisphere so from the top if you look from the top view if you look this all right from here from the top if you see you'll just see like this you know and which is actually uh, this this is actually in a circular face you'll get it all right and uh, this is actually hemisphere all right hemisphere is just above it keep in mind that all right so the total surface area of this block will be will be uh, the total surface area of cube plus 
curved surface area of hemisphere minus one circle that's pi r square further uh, total surface area of the cube that's 6 a square plus curve surface area of the hemisphere that's 2 pi r square minus pi r square so it's going to be 6 a square plus pi r square 6 and the easy is 5 centimeter 5 centimeter length height as well as the breadth so it's 5 square and pi the question has directed us to 22 by 7 times uh, the square of the radius and radius is 1.2 Right, so it's 1.2 square further it's 6 times 5 square that's 25 and it's 22 divided by 7 times 1.2 square that's 1.44 and now it's 6.25 that's going to be uh, 150 plus uh, let me do the waste calculator that will be more faster 22 times 1.44 divided by 7 that's going to be 4.52 all right 4.52 so our total surface area of the figure is going to be 154.52 centimeter square all right so the area of this block we get 154.52